All right, how's it going? A couple of videos ago, we learned how to shoot an azimuth, okay? And then we learned the back azimuth. Okay, so again, real small recap here. An azimuth is basically a directional line between you and where you want to be, okay? And a back azimuth would be a reverse direction on that directional line, okay? So in other words, it's a reverse direction of 180 on that line. You're going this direction, uh oh, oh shit, I want to come back to where I started at. Okay, now, how do you put those two together? Okay, that's why this class here would be basically over a route or a planned route. Okay, I want to say planned because you see where you want to go, you got planned to get there. A planned route, okay, using the compass. Now, I'm not going to get into the military plotting points, I've already said that before, okay? And the reason why is because people that were in the military learn things a certain way and you use certain types of maps, okay? And civilian use, they have one in 24 thousandths, they have one in 50 thousandths, military use, you know, one in 25 thousandths, okay, so, and use protractors and things like that, and there's also a difference between points you put on a map and points you put on to, onto a compass, okay? There's that declination diagram at the bottom of the map, and you gotta add or subtract, depending if you're going from map to grid, or grid to map, okay? So it's kind of confusing for people who don't understand that, and that's a whole different class, Okay, but one thing most people do have in common is they hike or hunt or fish. They all have some form of a compass. This is a military style compass. This is not this is not a Kamenga. This is not an official military compass. These are sold everywhere. A lot of people buy these. There's the Silvas, there's the Burtons, you know, there's all those different kinds you can buy, but they all point north and you can all get azimuths from any type of compass. And that's why I'm gonna try and keep this down and dirty and basic for everybody who doesn't matter what kind of compass you have, you all can shoot an azimuth, which is a point. You can get a reverse direction, which is a back azimuth. And you can also shoot points, okay, or a series of azimuths using the compass without a map and you still get where you're going or where you want to be, okay. So this would be basically how to shoot points or a series of azimuths to get to your location, okay. What I got here is a board and I'll try and keep this as simple as possible. Here we go. All right, as stated before, okay, in a perfect world, we have one point or location where we want to get to or where we want to be, all right? Let's say our start position is right here. We'll put an S for start, okay? And we want to get to our house over here. Little door, little chimney, okay. That's where we want to get to, our cabin or whatever, whatever that wants to be, okay? So we're gonna plot a route or a course that will take us there, okay? So say we shoot an azimuth of 70 degrees. Now we just walk on that azimuth for X amount of feet or yards or miles and logically we'll walk right into our front door of our cabin okay that's in a perfect world boom it's done plot the point go to it okay but in reality okay you might have a lake right here okay and your cabin still in the same place Your starting point is still in the same place, okay? Now, are you gonna walk right through that lake? Maybe you can, okay? I can't. Let's go ahead and make this a little, bit, a little bigger here. Okay, there's your lake, all right? Now, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to traverse that lake somehow by either going up around it or down under it and back over. This is where a series of points or a series of azimuths or a series of directional lines comes into play. 
the first azimuth you're gonna shoot, still 70 degrees, takes you right to your cabin, okay? But what you're gonna have to do is you come to that shore of that lake, you're gonna have to stop, okay? So your first azimuth, boom, 70. Okay? And we're stepping, okay? You hit that lake shore, now what do you gotta do? Shoot another directional line or azimuth. Let's, let's say we're gonna go down to the bottom of that lake. There's another point, okay? So you shoot that azimuth, let's call that one 160, okay? Now we're at the bottom of our lake. Now we're gonna shoot across. One more directional line or azimuth. Now we know that was a straight line that way, so it's 70. So this one here we shot was 70. Follow what I'm saying? It's very simple, plotting a route around something. Series of azimuth, series of directional lines. Now what are we gonna do next? Now we could just cut straight up that way, but let's say there's a fence right here or something, we can't just cut across there. So we're gonna do it the hard way. Like everything else in life, right? Now we're gonna shoot up, okay? To another point. Let's call that one 340, okay? So we have 340. Now keep in mind, you've already shot one, two, three, four azimuths or four directional lines. The last one you're gonna shoot, take it to your front door for X amount of miles, okay? And again, that would be 70, because that's your original line. Okay, follow what I'm saying? All you've done is taken your compass, whatever brand it is, aimed it where you wanna go. We wanted to go to the lake shore, then we wanted to traverse that lake, another point. We wanted to follow that lake bottom till it opened up. That was the other point. From this point, we shot up to the top where our original starting line, directional line was. That was that one. And then from here, we shot to our house again, 70 degrees. Okay, that's as simple as I can explain how to plot a route using a compass with a series of azimuths or directional lines. Now, what I do to be safe, okay, something we talked about in a previous video as well, okay, and what was that? A back azimuth, because I mentioned how we're gonna tie all this together. Oops, there we go. The back azimuth, Okay, we find that using this acronym, LAMBS, okay? Let me fix that so you all can see it. All right, now with this, we learned whatever azimuth we shoot, okay? If it's less than 180, we add 180. If it's more than 180, you subtract 180, okay? And that's your acronym LAMBS. These two go together and these two go together. Okay, now this is just a recap of two classes basically rolled into one with the third portion of plotting a route. But you'll see the method of my madness in one minute here. We've already plotted our points, okay? We know how to get around that lake. We're walking, we're stepping, we're doing all this stuff, okay? But say we come down here and it goes down underneath this ravine or something and you can't see, it's not a flat surface or there might be a hilltop over here somewhere. Now what happens? You're lost. Do you just wander around and hope you come out somewhere? No. So for every point that you plot using a compass, every azimuth you shoot, you need to get a reverse direction, meaning a back azimuth, okay? A back azimuth, okay? So we shot one here at 70. 
what's the back azimuth for a 70? Well, we asked the questions, okay? Is 70 less than 180? Is it? Yeah, it is, okay? So doing the math on that, 70 plus 180 comes out to 250, right? Okay, so the reverse direction for the first one is 250 degrees. That will bring you back home. Your next point was 160. What's the back azimuth of 160? Is 160 more or less than 180? It's less than 180, okay? So what are we gonna do? We're taking 160, and what are we gonna do to it? We're gonna add 180, okay? Comes out 340, okay? Now we came back down here, shot one at 70, okay? Now 70, we already know what 70 is, okay? So it's 250. Why do the math on it if you already know? Okay? Now, you're coming back up the lake to your starting point. You shot one at 340, okay? Now is 340 more or less than 180? It's more than. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna subtract 180 from 340. And what is that? Well, if you look right across here, we came down at 160, now we're going back up at 340. So it's 160. Okay? And then lastly, your point at 70, you know, back azimuth to that point, you had 70 twice already, but we'll do it again. 70 is more or less than 180, it's less than, so we're gonna add 180 to the 70, comes out to 250. Okay, now that in a nutshell right there, these are your back azimuths, okay, to the plots that we just pointed, okay? Now, like I mentioned before, whatever point you plot or whatever azimuth you shoot, you need to have your back azimuth or, or a reverse direction to get you back to, in case you get lost. And you can even take this a step further and trick it out and say, from here, I want an azimuth to the starting point. From here, I want an azimuth to my starting point. From here, I want a back azimuth. I want a back azimuth. I want a back azimuth. You understand what I'm saying here? Every point you shoot, you need to have at least a back azimuth or reverse direction to that previous point. So if you're lost somewhere right here, you can get back to here, all right, and start over again. And taking it a step further, like I mentioned, if you're lost right here, you could shoot one and get back over here and start over again, okay? If a lot more people knew this and they actually used the compass properly and they shot azimuths and reverse directions, meaning back azimuths, a lot of them probably wouldn't be lost, okay? Because you could be in a triple canopy where it's you know, damn near looking like midnight outside and still do this type of method right here and still find your rally point or your reverse direction to your previous location, okay? And this in a nutshell is how to combine shooting an azimuth, getting a back azimuth, and then plotting a route or a course using a compass.